Today we're going to talk about how light penetrates into the skin and where it is absorbed according to the principles of selective photothermolysis. We know that different wavelengths penetrate to different depths in the skin. Red light penetrates the deepest, while yellow penetrates further than green, which penetrates further than blue. This means that we must choose our wavelength according to how deep the target is. So green light, which is around 500 to 550 nanometers, this will penetrate somewhere between about 0.6 to 1 millimeters deep into the skin. So it can uh, reach the papillary dermis. So only targets in that part of the upper dermis will be treated by green light. If we fire effluents at the skin surface of F0, then by the time it reaches any depth Z, the fluents will have dropped significantly. Typically in the skin, the fluents can drop exponentially or greater. So at some depth, uh, the fluents will be perhaps 50% or even less than the value that it was at the surface. If we have two vessels, like we can see here, they'll have similar absorption coefficients. But what we'll find is that the shallower, smaller vessel will absorb a certain amount of energy, which may be sufficient to destroy it. But the deeper vessel, because it's at a deeper position within the skin, will absorb less energy, simply because less of the fluence or the energy has reached that depth. As a consequence, it may well survive this treatment. To get around this issue, we could use a, a longer wavelength, red or infrared energy. This will penetrate deeper into the skin and therefore transport more energy to a deeper depth. But the problem here is that blood vessels in particular will not absorb much of that energy very strongly, simply because blood just doesn't absorb red light very well. So we might find that uh, you get a deep, large vessel, which may absorb some of this uh, red energy, but still not a sufficient amount to destroy the vessel. So in summary, we should choose the wavelength according to the depth of the target. Red is good for deep targets, whereas blue, yellow and green are preferable for superficial targets. But we also must match up the wavelength according to the absorption coefficient of the target. There's no point sending all that energy down there if the target isn't going to absorb very strongly. This presentation essentially discusses the principle of selective photothermolysis. This is the idea where we choose the laser parameters such as wavelength and pulse width and fluence depending on the target, where it is, how deep it is and its absorption characteristics. There are other laser techniques which don't use this, uh, this principle. Um, these devices will just do what we call a general bulk heating of the tissue. There's no selectivity in there at all. But for many laser and IPL treatments, the principle of selective photothermolysis is king. If you want to hear more stuff about uh, lasers and IPLs and all that kind of malarkey, then please go to our blog. Thanks for listening.